Reef DVM is coming at you today with a fun uh, horseshoe um, hanging rack project that my uh, daughter is doing for the 4-H local county fair. Um, she wanted to get into this and do this for her own horses and tack and of course also for the fair. So, you know, we got her some horseshoes, fairly uh, inexpensive ones, and she marked out where she wanted to cut them. Um, took her over to the DeWalt Top Chop Saw, put a pair of glasses on her and kind of taught her how to use it. Um, not real hard to cut thin metal horseshoes, so she was quite capable to um, get that device going. Um, she's about, you know, soon to be 10 here, so, you know, working on 4-H projects with her dad is kind of a fun thing. You know, we got safety glasses on her, we got some shielding there for cardboard, and then, you know, we took her from that stage to kind of having to buff these up a little bit after she cut them. Number one, they had some edges on them, and uh, let's be honest, she didn't cut them quite perfectly straight. <laughs> So we had to go back and make some corrections. Um, once we got that done, um, we tapped holes in each of the ends of the shoes for um, future screws to hang them to the wall. And I actually had her um, tap them twice, once with a, a quarter inch bit and then once with a little bigger bit to kind of seat the, the screw head. Um, uh, certainly I could have taught her how to use a tap tool, but um, I thought, you know, using the drill press, the old school style might be kind of good for her. When we got done, this is kind of the order of progression that we had. And then we took her over and started teaching her how to weld. Um, this is one of her first welding things, so it took a couple shoes for her to kind of get it right. Um, but, you know, the MIG welding on a little surface like this, you're almost spot welding these in place. So it's actually a, a good learning tool for her, you know, getting to see the gloves and the equipment and the arching and all that stuff. Uh, it went well, and, you know, after she got done with a shoe or two, she literally was flying through the process. You know, granted, some are off in straightness, but nothing a little ball peen hammer can't just tap back because, you know, they're horseshoes, they are, they're a bendable material. Um, then we took some nails made for horseshoes, about an inch and a half long. Um, she kind of placed them in, she marked them where she wanted, and she cut them, um, and then she glued the ends into the horseshoes. Um, obviously, you can't just leave the nails stick out the back because you're going to put these on the wall. Once she glued them, she tapped them in with a little ball peen hammer. Um, this task took her a while, but she got done. She had a whole nice set of shoes there drying. And then from there, we took her to the paint area, uh, which was basically a piece of cardboard or foam out in the middle of the arena. And she went after these things. And, uh, you know, a little can of uh, Krylon fast drying enamel paint. And, you know, she started blasting these babies. Um, she's done some painting in the past, but never really the aerosol painting. So it was a, it was a fun thing for her to do. Obviously, your first time spray painting can be a real blast. Uh, once they dried up, about 20-30 minutes later, she painted the little nails um, silver, and we headed off to make um, the stand for 4-H. Took some, you know, very thin oak um, veneer almost, cut it with the DeWalt saw, and you know she stained it up uh, red oak uh, color um, to make it more decorative. And we took a two by four for the backing, and we made a back with it. She wanted to stain the 2 by 4 too, so we stained that up, too. I don't know how important that is to 4-H, but it's how it worked. And, you know, she took the hand drill, and she drilled a bunch of holes in them. And, and basically, then we took, you know, six screws, and we mounted three of the different types of hangers she made. She made more of a straight hanger. She made a real bent hanger for hanging tack. And she made one that sticks out a ways for hanging larger items on. This is a fun project for her. I appreciate you watching, folks. Please like or subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this. Thank you.